Hello everyone and welcome back to my morning report videos uh, for Tuesday the 29th of April. This is looking at gold and uh, that's my final chart of the day. And gold has certainly had a bit of a correction once more. This bit of dollar strength, although dollar is not stronger against the euro or the sterling, there is um, it is stronger against the yen and it would suggest that there's a, a little bit of an improvement in risk appetite uh, amongst investors and certainly that is being reflected in this gold chart that has been falling away um, in the last couple of days. Um, and I'll show you now that the, the reaction that we've got from the move below 1300 would suggest that uh, that remains to be an important level. Um, 1306.11 was the high that we saw yesterday. Tried to use 1300 as a base of support and then uh, that failed and then uh, a reaction to the upside failed at uh, 1299.40 so it would suggest certainly that um, 1300 remains a bit of a pivot level and the outlook is certainly now deteriorating once more as you've seen a, a series this is over the last couple of days now a series of lower highs um, you've seen that support of, uh, of yesterday's low now broken at 1291.86 and we're now back below um, the reaction low at uh, around 1290 my concern would be if um, we started to move below uh, 1287, 39, uh, and uh, 29, uh, as um, that would be um, a, a rejection of the support that be, would have been in place following on from that, um, the initial um, breaking of the news about the, the Russian troops amassing on the borders which of the Ukraine, which basically caused this big spike high, this $30 gain in gold. And if um, if we started to drift back below there, I think that then we could see possibly even a full retracement of this um, of this move. And certainly, um, you could even arguably draw in a a top pattern there. So th with this uh, move below these lows, so this um, it does certainly suggest that um, we could be uh, it could be in for a correction now. Uh, on this um, on this gold chart, and the pressure is increasingly to the downside. The intraday levels uh, price is below the moving averages. Also, the um, the momentum indicators are all now quite um, strongly in corrective configuration as well. So, um, the uh, the very near term outlook you'd say is possibly um, using this uh, 21 hour moving average. As, uh, as a good gauge uh, in the last few days, uh, rolling over and uh, becoming the base of resistance now, currently at 1295.36, so that could be um, where uh, a rally goes to if there were to be one, uh, so watch out for that, but it just seems as though this gold price has rolled over once more, and um, it seems like uh, we're coming back possibly for a test of that uh, 144 day moving average once again that comes in at uh, 1282 so um, that is uh, my outlook for gold um, a fairly mixed one in the uh, in the in the light of this uh, recent slight improvement in risk appetite um, but uh, nonetheless it looks like gold is drifting lower today lots of uh, economic data that ca could have an impact on um, dollar strength in the coming days and uh, therefore you could see uh, gold quite um, more well significantly more volatile anyway than it has been so uh, just watch out for that so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later thank you